Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi scorpio this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd and your first card of the pagan ways is the seven of cups you might be having illusions dreams in the it says illusions but i call this the dream card wishes goals but don't have any illusions you have to come into action to make them come true so my advice with this card always is make a priority list see which dream or goal or wish you would like to come true first happiness money a house friendships work um, so make approach and cons list and see which one you can make into materialism come true how you can make it come true now you have perhaps you might want love or you might want to get married you've got the page of uh, cups so you will be receiving news this could be about love this could be about passion this could be about nurturing sensuality or sexy sexiness okay so you might meet a page of water that is the page of water is Pisces but don't exclude cancer or Scorpio Scorpio so you might get news from another Scorpio whoopee and you are in balance because you've got 24 and 24 is a 6 and that is balance okay perhaps you've been waiting for this or you might be starting something new that you love to do or that you're passionate about in the beginning of the week sorry about that that's Matis she was ill but now she's better and she's pestering me for food she didn't want to eat but don't worry I give her food um, sorry about that and the in on Wednesday you have the Knight of Swords something will become clear to you you could get the message because you did have the page of cups through cyber and things might be happening very swiftly you could also be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarium this news could come through cyber like I said email text message or just a telephone call or an air mail letter the old-fashioned way letters are fun to receive because it is something special especially when they love letters because it's lying next to the heart and you can every some your your potential partner or your partner might be away from home and he's sending you old-fashioned love letters handwritten their magic there's something mystical and special about them and you tie them up with ribbons for keepsakes then you have the king of swords the king of spades and number 30 from the Lenamon, which is lilies you might be seeking professional advice from uh, a mature man or a father figure or an other mature man that you respect three is being creative luck in business as well or at work beautiful so you could be meeting an air sign but the king of swords he is a fighter and he believes in honesty clarity justice communication there again communication news so 
if you are uh, uh, going out with an air sign they are communicators so, so it's more than likely that you'll get a letter Ooh, nice one and you've got the two of cups and you've met your soulmate and if you are hooked up then now you realize your soulmate you might be getting news from your soulmate you're emotionally in balance like I said you have a six you've been creative and you've been waiting for this news and you have most probably um, asked him uh, wrote him back or her and asked her hand in ma marriage because you've got the union here so union means marriage or coming together moving in together perhaps that's what you've been communicating about because I've also got the ring you might be getting married or you might be getting engaged forming partnerships perhaps in business since we've got the business luck in business or work card um, you've got number seven so that's good luck and you've got the ace of clubs the ace of clubs is the ace of wands so there is definite a lot a, a definitely a lot of passion there a new beginning in love or, or or passion but I think your relationship if you are engaged will go up to the next level not just passion it will be love because you've got the heart you know that your Sagittarius Aries or Leo loves you and you know their boundaries otherwise it wouldn't have lasted this long and uh, become a soulmate feeling Ooh, you know that what their limits are and what they know what your limits are and that is awesome well Scorpio you are in your element because you have water here that's the page of water and we have the um, uh, the seven of cups which is the moon and you see water around her so I think this is absolute love coming out big time and uh, Libra had something as well they had two readings in one so you're either going to do something that you're passionate about and you're hearing about it that it's coming to fruition and you might even partner up uh, and get your own business with a partner because we've also got the King of Cups at the weekend so you could be meeting another Scorpio like I said there was a card I believe Scorpio hold on yes the page is a Scorpio Pisces or uh, Cancer and we have the, the King of Water the King of Water is Cancer but the page is Pisces but I like I always say don't exclude the other two signs so in this car this is provident pro, pro, prominently the cancer the king and Scorpio is the queen and Pisces is the page but don't exclude when you see the king of cups uh, the other two signs he has his emotions under control and he knows what he wants and he's a loving passionate nurturing type of guy is also good looking and he always gives everybody a helping hand now you might have had an argument with them and that's why you didn't speak to each other but you've got the jack of wands here so definitely again fire you've got fire here and fire here now the jack of page of wands that is Sagittarius so it could be as that you had a quarrel with Sagittarius but don't exclude Aries or Leo but it's short-lived because the angel number is here and the angels are giving you a doorway to a new beginning and it's confirming the ace and I think it's about passion that you or the other wanted to get married or get move in together and you might have had a disagreement about it and now the time is ripe or has come to fruition to make that new step to get together partnership 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 number one and one is two boom 
so arguments are short lived. Now we're going on to the Avalonian card and I hope you've seen the reviews um, on the Pagan Ways and the Lenaman Cartomancy and on the Avalonian uh, deck uh, and I'm doing this from the book so that you get the right message and it looks like Queen Guinevere in the King Arthur story and the uh, cave that the fool came out of there's a lot of mythological uh, stories uh, uh, mythology is behind these cards and you have the moon nine moon of dedication there you go dedication marriage okay let's have a look moon of dedication Goddess is Goddess Rayon, and there's a lot of uh, Gaelic, Welsh Gaelic words in this book, but it is beautiful the story. And I'm just giving you the, I'm lifting the point of the veil, the tip of the veil. So I'm going to give you the moon, how the moon stands when you see this card, and I'm going to give you the keywords and the description of the card. Okay, the goddess is Rion, the moon, first full moon, when sun is in Cancer. We've got the water here, Cancer. Season, midsummer, so it could be happening now. And yes, this is the second week in August that I'm doing this reading for, from the second to the third week. Card description, Golden Field Rion writes forth from the other world on a shining white mare circumambulating the burdock thick land while keeping a deliberate steady gait. In the background is the god Set Abreth, the sacred ancestral mount from which a king could view and wander or be beaten with physical blows. And that's the mountain some say it is mountain tall, but here it says Gorset Arbeth Berth, and that is Gaelic. Sorry, I can't speak Gaelic, and it means that you've persevered. Like you, I said you might have had arguments, but you persevered to keep the communication going. You had the courage, straightforwardness. You were open. You di you were honest, like the king of swords right and honesty always prevails you fo focus po uh, poise ask for what you needed relinquish control you got the you let go of control but through that you relinquished control okay so you've done well you've communicated and kept the communication going you were focused on what you wanted gently abiding your time being patient and it's going to pay off whatever it is a new job a house or a relationship something that you're passionate about perhaps with a partner then you have a divine promise there you are the divine is giving you fulfillment of your promise Oh, there is promise okay your dreams your wishes when storms happen arguments and tests appear and you are caught unaware know that you are fully equipped to handle them you are not at the mercy of outside forces even as you sense of self is threatened and you want to give up Turn toward the light, it will shine out of you, be the beacon, in a way you least expect it. Knowledge will spill forth and wisdom will arise and reveal a pathway ahead. Hold steady and aim toward the truth of your being. Doubt can no longer 
keep you from reaching your highest destination. Take hold of your inherent holiness, your sovereignty, your I. Even if you feel uneasy at first and feel strengthened by knowing now that a love greater than all this world is living through you as you are part of it. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I believe. And the angels have given you within the next few months. And I get the feeling completion. Completion. All your wishes and dreams will come true, but you must come into action. Be open and be the beacon. If somebody else doubts something, then show them the way. Show them the light. Be the beacon. Be the lighthouse. Okay, I love this reading. This is really magical. Now you can't see all the cards. Now you can. Okay, perhaps even more. Sorry about that. And I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I have. Take care and I hope to see you in your life. In the life. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Unless something comes in between. I hope you're safe and well. Enjoy this week and take care. Please share and like. Ciao, ciao.